Hey guys, welcome back to BTN, and yes, an exciting Sunday afternoon. It's actually January 19th. Uh, I was up all night, uh, and the reason why I was up all night because I couldn't go to sleep. Sucks, right? And uh, I know a while back I did a video of the HTZ Evo 4G teardown. I was trying to fix the cracked screen. Uh, it was one of those nights, one of those long nights that I just saw the phone. I said to myself, what can I do with this phone? And as you can see, uh, Saiyajin Mod. <laughs> yeah, so I, I searched Saiyajin Mod. I went to their, their website. I started reading up on it. I was like, holy crap, I could do this on the phone. And as you can see on the screen, this is their main page. And uh, I, I searched on side the, you know, I, I searched inside their main page and I found that you are able to install the Cyogen mod on the HTC Evo 4G. Supersonic is the code name that they give it. Uh, they have two options to do this. Uh, one option is the option that did not work out for me. And the second option did work out for me. Uh, the first option you had to gain S off, which is S off is, uh, a mold on your phone or that allows you to have complete control of your phone uh, some carriers do not like this at all getting a soft enable on your phone is really hard uh, but some of the steps that they provide you to you know disable the fast boot uh, and also enabling the USB debugging that's very self-explanatory you're able to do that um, the other option that they wanted you is they wanted you to go into revolutionary website and download their their hacking tool now the reason they didn't work out for me is because your H boot version needed to be 2.15 or 2.16 the the version that I had on this phone right here was 2.18 so I searched online continue searching all night and I wasn't able to do it um, I found a site that was able to do it, but a little bit different. And the version, the way that they did it is by installing the Cyogen mod from Recovery. So I follow these steps. It didn't out, it work out for me. Uh, I continue searching as always as an IT guy. I was very stubborn. I I had to get the Cyogen mod seven, which is the version that I did have installed in, on the phone. Worked out. Uh, if you go into uh, you know revolutionary s off and recovery tool they tell you that the only thing that's supported is the 4g sonic, supersonic to 15 to 16 so that didn't really work out uh, if you go to the cyanogen mod downloads for supersonic the latest update that they have for the cyanogen mod is updated to uh, March of 2013 and yeah it's only it's only like a year already so I, I still downloaded the nightly one. I downloaded the nightly one. I even went back a little further to uh, 616 and I downloaded this one right here. And I actually got the the nightly one to work out at the very end. So the first step that I had to do is, you know, I had to disable fast boot. Uh, I had to enable a USB debugger. And from here, you need to unlock your phone, okay? Because your phone is locked up from your carrier. So my carrier is Sprint. So Sprint is really well known for locking down their phones because they don't want you to tamper it at all. So I had to go into HTZ Dev, and within HTZ Dev, you have to have an account uh, to follow these, you know, to follow these instructions. The reason that you need an account is because at the very end, I believe in step five or seven or eight, you need to insert a token. Now the token is what allows you to go in here and they will give you like a bin file. Now the bin file is what you insert into or push it into your phone to unlock it. And uh, these instructions will be provided at my blog site. So I'm gonna put all this stuff, all this information that I gathered and found, I'm gonna compile it into one blog site, one write up and just give it to you guys because going to multiple sites really sucks and that's what I had to do last night. I had to go to this site, I had to go to this site, I had to go to this site. And like I had to take bits and pieces to make everything work. I'm going to take all those bits and pieces and I'm going to compile them into one write up and just give it to you guys so you guys can have it. It's awesome, right? So as you can see, it wants you to log into your bootloader and uh, once you are in your bootloader, you, you know, do the fast boot connected to your computer. It's going to want you to install an application 
or a fast uh, a fast boot binary application that will allow you to command prompt or shoot command prompts into your fast uh, you know into your device now uh, I use the one that I downloaded and I'm also going to zip it and put it at the bottom of the description and put it in my Dropbox so you guys can get a copy as well with all the files that you need for this to work so once you do step four you want to go to step five step five gives you the instructions of how to get the token uh, once you get your token you copy and paste the token and then again you need to have an HTC dev dot com count so you can insert it submit it you're gonna receive an email now the email is gonna be an email with a bin file that bin file you need to download it and you need to place that bin file inside your bootloader now the bootloader is right here and this this is the this is the unlock code bin file that I received uh, once you receive that bin file you need to continue following the steps step 8 step 9 will show you how to flash your Android device with that bin file that they sent you now once you send that it's really quick really fast you guys don't really have to do or wait too long uh, your your device is gonna reboot and it's gonna reboot into your unlock bootloader basically telling you what's gonna happen you got two choices either yes or no you hit yes if you're sure and you want this and it's gonna reboot and you're done the way that you know that you're done when you hold down the power key and also the down key at the same time and you get into your fast your know, your bootloader you're gonna see at the very top it doesn't say lock down anymore it's gonna say unlock that's how you know that you're fully unlocked and that's it that's how you unlock your phone but how can you insert the Cyogen mod 7 within this device now I saw I found these instructions these instructions basically tell you the same thing but it works for your HBoot 10.18 again Cyogen mod the instruction that they gave you only supports 215 and 216 so I needed something to work for 218 which kinda sucks for me so I found this site again I'm gonna post all this stuff up for you guys in one little compile write up uh, I downloaded the root package that they provided which gave you all the files that you needed every all the files I'm telling you it gave you all the files I have the files and these files will be compiled and uh, shout out to you guys to a public link so you guys can download it so they provide you I actually inserted the nightly supersonic version of it uh, they provided you the the rooting uh, zip file uh, the PC 36 image file which also helps you out in some way I used it but it's I don't, I don't even know I needed it uh, but it, once you follow these instructions here you needed to do a flash recovery uh, with the supersonic image this will allow you to get a nice little menu for the recovery once you do that you need to toggle into your USB and once you toggle into your USB you need to transfer this particular file now uh, I transfer two files I transfer this file the CWM super SV and I also transfer my Cyogen nightly zip file into my SD card and if you continue following the instructions it's gonna want you to get into your flash zip and SD card and choose that zip from the SD card I chose the the CWM first and then once that was finished I chose the Cyogen mod 7 nightly one and it rebooted and once it rebooted I was extremely happy I love Android devices this is one of the reasons why I love Android devices because as you can see the way it shuts down on you was awesome uh, unlocking it is awesome the background of it is just amazing I'm telling you this is why I love it so much uh, the design is I don't know it's really cool this is my first time actually ruining an Android device as you guys know I am a iOS 7 device person I'm a, I'm a carrier the only reason that I'm an iOS 7 person is because my job pays for it I don't have to pay for the bill they pay for the phone <laughs> they pay for the bill so why try to pay another monthly bill for an Android device uh, this was my original Android device but uh, my job again offered to give me a, a phone so I took it uh, but now that I have the phone I'm thinking to myself I should I should move over to an Android device and believe it or not when I spoke to my boss he was like you know we are able to give you a Samsung Galaxy so I said to myself oh shoot Samsung Galaxy I could probably root that and install the Cyanogen matter well but if you do the rooting and the installation of a custom ROM uh, you're breaking the agreement with your carrier so if something happens to your your device and they see that you rooted it they, they won't support it 
But I, I, I am loving the way it looks and feels. I love the background with the moving stuff. So, so far, I get, again, this is my first time actually rooting this device with Cyanogen Mob. So, I'm going to continue playing around with it. And then, hopefully, in the future, I'm going to do a, uh, like, an explain of the Cyanogen Mob and my first expressions for it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit, hit me up at the bottom. Give me your feedback at the bottom of the video, at the uh, comment section. Uh, at the description part, I'm going to leave all the information. Again, I'm going to compile everything into one so you guys can have it. So, rather than going to multiple sites. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this explain of rooting and installing the Cyogen mod on the HTC Evo 4G. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.